guys and welcome back to another episode of the sims 4 get to work season 2 and we're back with hunter moore and he is currently looking online and has run across something that is completely got him startled and tense and oh my gosh he has got the message or the word rather that something definitely is going on with jerica and it's something that he kind of wants to kind of see for himself and even though it's going to be something that he's going to be totally 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 probably disappointed about uh it's definitely something that he's going to have to kind of put his eyes on because he is just not believing it so he hasn't spoken to jerica since we saw her last at the club and she did say she was in a relationship we had no idea to what extent said relationship was. So anyway, I am going to check his needs really quickly. Oh my gosh, my boy is aging up in a couple of days. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's actually okay, surprisingly. I like when I get into their files, into their game, and they're all actually okay. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna let him get dressed and we're gonna go try to meet Jerrica just to kind of see what's going on with her and um, just touch base with her and just kind of see how she's doing and all of that good stuff. What outfit do we want to put on? Let's put this one on. I need to give him like a slight makeover because I don't know. I just feel like it's time. I got some CC that kind of he inspired me <laughs> to do. And so I kind of want to use it on him. But anyway, let's send her a text really quickly. Just kind of saying that we want to... Um, hook up and just kind of touch bases and see how she's doing and see if she will be willing to meet us. I don't know if she has to go to work today, but I'm sure she's going to be like, you saw what was going on on Simstagram, right? Yeah, he saw what was going on on Simstagram. So let's just go on and grab her really quickly. And hopefully uh, there will not be an issue. We could just take her with us. Let's see really quickly. Um, Where is it? There is dear Jerrica. Oh gosh. So we're going to try to take her and go just to like this little chill spot that's in town and just kind of hang out and, um, you know, just kind of talk. And she said that she'll see us there according to this little thingamajig right here. So there is like a new little, I guess little, like little area right here. Uh, it's called Lady Aquamarine. It's just like a little fountain area that has like um, just a really big fountain and some park benches or whatever. So we can just kind of sit and chill and talk with her for a little bit and just see how she's doing. I know Hunter, I think has gotten to the point where he has definitely done a lot in his short life as far as his love life goes and you know the the run-ins he's had with the law and things of that nature and seeing his brother get married and move on and and make a family and then you know now hearing this about Jerrica I think is really going to start hitting him really hard that he wants to kind of you know do do the right thing for himself and I know he wants a family and I know he wants like a, a, a you know like a steady woman you know, it's just that he's kind of battling two sides right now, you know, something that he's going to need to just kind of deal with on his own in time. All right, here we are at the Lady Aquamarine um, little fountain area. <laughs> and this look on his face right now is priceless. Oh my gosh. And it's so funny that she's like standing that way right now. So let's just go in really quickly. I'm just going to kind of uh, brighten her day and let's go around. Okay, well, maybe the rumors aren't true, but there is a rumor going around that Miss Jerrica is expecting. But oh my gosh, I guess I kind of was wrong. Maybe we dodged a bullet. Will he feel better about Oh no. Oh, she is pregnant. Oh, she is pregnant. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I kind of got the vibe. That's what was going on. And she's not showing that much right now, but clearly there is definitely something going on. So I'm just going to vent a little bit to her really quickly. You know, things never, I mean, I don't know. They've been like high school sweethearts, you know, the whole story behind them and things just went totally, totally south and totally wrong. And so, um, you know, they just gotten to the point where they're just like friends, but I'm sure Hunter is probably thinking like, what if, but how beautiful is this little Lake pond area? It's just so, okay. Do not go steal anything. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, okay. Let's go sit together over here. 
Yeah, go sit down and let them talk for a little bit. I am almost 100% positive, which is going to be just kind of a very um, disturbing to say the least that she is currently with Marcus Flex. So I'm going to ask her really quickly about him and just see what she says, because I think, I think Marcus, oh yeah, she's very, she's, oh, she just threw up. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh, okay. Marcus Flex. He's like our sworn enemy. Like out of all the people, Jerrica, seriously, out of all the people you had to go be with, I swear. Here he is right here. I'm going to ask, look, he is like so tense right now. Look at him. I should have got that picture. That was like a perfect. <laughs> He's like, so is it Marcus? Oh my gosh. Look at that symbol right now. I am so in love with Marcus. Oh my gosh. So it is true. Jerrica is currently with Marcus Flex. Um, she's not married to him because her last name is still Cruz. But clearly they are together. Um, I, I don't I don't know what to think about at this point. And you could tell in his face he is just not happy about it right now. I don't know what what is about to happen. I have no idea. His face is just saying everything right now. I'm just I'm just trying to get pictures because he is not happy right now. Look at his face. He is just not happy right now. All right. Well. It is what it is. I think at this point we need to definitely, this park is so pretty though. Um, we definitely need to just kind of just be, okay, well, they're giving each other a hug. I guess he's just like, you know, I'm happy for you and we'll always be friends. And you know, that's, that's all really he could ask for at this point. Cause she clearly is happy and she's moved on. And I, it seems like it happened so quick, but in the game of life, like, you know, what what can you do about it? So anyway, he, he's definitely not happy. But I think at this point, he does have to go to work today. And I know that I think one thing that'll kind of make him happy, which is kind of weird, is if he gets together. Oh, look how he's just walking away from her. <laughs> we are not going to steal anything. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I think we're just going to go on and go. And I know she's like feeling uncomfortable and she got like all these things going on. So we're just going to go somewhere by ourselves for a little bit. And just kind of like vent, not, not vent, but just kind of like get some time to himself because, uh, but she's pregnant. She's not showing, but she is pregnant. And that is what I thought was going on. So uh, let's, let me see, where can we go really quickly? I kind of want to go visit. I kind of want to go visit Harrison. So let's go over here for a little bit and go visit Harrison and try not to go take anything, but just kind of go talk to him because Harrison kind of got the, the heads up on it and kind of gave Hunter like, hey, you know, just FYI, I don't want you to like get caught off guard, but there's a possibility Jerrica and Marcus are together. I guess the whole thing with Jerrica, you know, honestly, in my heart, I kind of felt like I was hoping that eventually they would kind of get back together. But, um, you know, like maybe they'd work their way back together. But, you know, that is totally not going to happen right now. So anyway, we're going to go knock on the door. And we haven't been to our brother's house at all since they moved in. So we'll just kind of just like kind of say hi and, and see Elsie. I don't even think, oh, there's, do not take anything, dude. Oh, goodness. He is like so tense right now. Go talk to your brother for a little bit and go see what's going on. And then you got your, your nephew over there. So I'm going to let them hang out. Oh, for some reason, we got a negative. What's going on? Oh, and Colin came over here to come say hi. I'm going to ask Colin how he's doing. Maybe we could watch a little sports on TV and just, oh, let's see. Uh, let's watch channel. Let's watch the game. It's Sunday. Like, why not? The llamas are on TV right <laughs> sorry you're gonna see all these facebook posts because i'm in the middle of a conversation with this girl um she sells stuff online and yeah i am totally wanting something and she told me that they had my size and then all of a sudden she don't have my size but anyway that's probably her responding i'll check it later but anyway so we're just sitting here chilling for a little bit i wonder if Catherine's here i wonder is she at work today oh wow Catherine's not even here 
Well, he's 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 getting in a better mood. I love their house. Oh, and little Elsie. I should probably go up there and say hi to her. Um, but right now I'm hanging out with my woes, right? Well, my brother and my nephew. Oh, why do we have negative interactions going on right now? Well, where is where did Hunter go? I mean, Harrison go. Why do I always call him by the wrong name? Did he go to? Did he leave? I'm so confused right now. Everybody's like leaving me. Oh, he's, oh, okay. He went to go take a bath really quickly. That was weird. <laughs> like, yeah, your brother's here, but go and take a bath. I mean, why not? Oh, uh oh, did he take something? Okay. No, he didn't take anything. Okay. Well, why was he up here doing like, you saw that little thing he just did. He went <gasps> like something had happened. I don't think, I know he has a need to swipe something right now. He's feeling so insecure right now, but he's hanging out with Colin. Um, talking about burgers and fries and shakes. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's tell an engaging story really quickly and just kind of just, I mean, it's Sunday. He does have to go to work today. So maybe in a minute I'll take him and go let him relieve some stress. As a matter of fact, why don't we grab Hunter and just say, hey, do you want to go work out for a little bit? And, um, I mean, not Hunter, why do I keep calling him by the wrong name? OMG. Um, I'm gonna ask him to hang out for a little bit and see what he says. Uh, oh, can I, can I ask him to hang out? Uh, okay. What's going on? Okay. They want to chat for a minute. Oh, I see telling him about, <gasps> oh goodness. They're talking about like love life and stuff. He's like, brother, you're going to find somebody eventually. Let's just grab them and just go work out really quickly. Oh, they're so cute together. I love it. You know what? We should totally have them take a picture, but for right now, I'm just going to have them go travel really quickly. Um, I know this episode seems like it's so random, but, um, you know, I know he has worked. Okay. Can we travel? No, oh, they're so busy talking. I'm like, I don't even know if he's going to want to go anywhere with him. I think I'm just going to go in and go by myself. Let them have their little family day. We spent time and we watched the game together. So let's just go on and get out of here and we'll go to the gym really quickly and go get us light workout in. Um, I don't even know if he has all of his interactions done for the day. Cause normally he has to do like so many, uh, mischievous actions before let's go. Where do I want to go? Let's see if there's a nice gym at Willow Creek. Um, there isn't one surprisingly, I don't want to go to the one in Windenburg. I feel like we always go to the one in Windenburg. And the only problem with that one is, is so difficult to maneuver around because uh, it just is <laughs> like, I can't even begin to tell you why it's just difficult to maneuver around. Ooh, we, I don't think we've ever been to that place before. I guess we don't have a choice. We have one gym in this lot. I mean, in this world, in this game file, one gym. And we barely got that one because I don't like this one, to be honest with you. I really don't. So we'll go hang out for a little bit and go work out. And then afterwards, I'll probably let him get, he gets off like at one. So I feel like it'll be a good opportunity for him to go and blow off some steam and just kind of hang out, um, catch him a drink or whatever. Cause I just feel like he's so tense right now. He needs some fun. Okay. Here we are at the gym and surprisingly there is nobody here, but let's go do an endurance run really quickly. I'm surprised there's like nobody here. What is going on with that? I mean, there's like a ghost town. What in the world? That is so weird. So my game is like running like super weird and slow right now. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, oh, there goes some people and there goes death. Good old death. Oh, Harrison ended up coming. Okay. Weird. Oh, is that Marcus flex coming here? Are you serious right now? I just can't even deal right now. Marcus like seriously, and he doesn't even know he's here. Look like they're about to have a club gathering, it appears. Um, I wonder if Catherine's going to show up. That is so weird. Like, why are they here right now? Should we pick a fight with Marcus? I feel like we would because we're just like uh, totally pissed off. But you know what? I feel like because of his love for Jerrica, even though they're not together anymore, I feel... <laughs> Death is over here. Just, I feel like he would just, um, oh good. So death has legs seriously, but I feel like he was just kind of just like, let it slide and just not keep causing issues, you know, because now that him and Jerrica are officially an item, you know, and she's expecting a baby possibly by him. Um, the last thing I want to do is cause more problems, cause more stress for her. I mean, that's like the least he can do as far as being, um, a good ex-boyfriend, a good friend, because they always were very good friends before anything else. But I'm going to let him work out for a little bit and get ready for work. 
and then we will be right back afterwards. Okay, guys, we are back, and Hunter has currently made it. Well, he came after work, and everything is, I guess, better. He's, like, in a flirty mood. He came out of work in a flirty mood. But anyway, we're in this new spot called a Purple Rain. Yes, it is a, <laughs> a lot that I created specifically for this particular part of the LP. And um, it's a little bit of a sensual type spot, you know, like very nice pictures and things of, of that nature on the wall and some very uh special nice ladies work here let's just put it that way but it is one of those type spots and um yeah so i felt like this would be a good place for him to come to and just kind of hang out for a little bit and get himself a drink or two and of course the crowd is popping <laughs> right I wish there was more people here though. And of course we got all of these enemies of ours here. Oh, and Catherine is here. How a fitting. Uh, looks like Catherine gets out a lot more than I would think that she did. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Anyway, so we got our little juice on the rocks really quickly. Hopefully he's going to actually drink that. Okay, good. It's his. I'm about to say, hopefully nobody will take it from him. Oh, and Laura Stucky is here, right? Is that her name? Laura? Yeah, Laurel rather. Oh, so we're sitting there hanging out with Jed. Oh, why am I giving him an enchanting? Really? What's up with that? Because <laughs> he's in a romantic mood. Oh my gosh. I do not want a romantic thing with Jed Taylor. No, thank you. I'll just gossip about <laughs> neighbors uh, and uh, brighten Joseph's day because I see Joseph is here. Who else is here? Is anybody else here? I don't see anybody else. Uh, it looks like the judge is here. Well, that's interesting. Miss Kayla D'Amico, what you doing here, girl? <laughs> and then Hunter is still drinking and getting his pate on. This is so funny to me. I don't know why. Look at Laurel, girl. Swinging your hips like you doing. <laughs> it's so funny when they're like that. It's like she's trying to catch his attention. You see her? She's like totally trying to catch his attention. So a long time ago, him and Laurel had like a little uh, fling in the bush and yeah he never spoke to her again she was like i don't even understand but anyway it's two stories there is um a spot up here and a spot oh is this our booth thing here oh whoa what is she doing here melanie is here interesting um let's go over really quickly and just see how she's doing um let's ask about her day oh she seems like she's just not in a good mood like what in the world <laughs> i didn't know she was here interesting yeah so these pictures on the wall you might recognize some of them from the um cc showcase for ethnic and urban finds oh we went straight in for the kill like i just want to see how she was doing <laughs> I want to ask her how her day was, but okay. Um, so yeah, we went straight in for the kill. So I didn't know she was here. That's interesting. Um, so anyway, so it looks like we're going to go. I don't know what we're doing though. Are we going downstairs for a bit? Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, wow. And we would bring her right down here in front of Laura. Um, but anyway, I wanted to ask her how her day was and things of that nature. But he like totally went in and like gave her a kiss and just uh, went straight in. Like, you know, she might actually end up being our next uh, boo thing, to be honest with you. Because oh, we don't know what's going on with Francis and I have no idea. And she's sitting over here talking about her day and... <laughs> Joseph's talking about police cars and whatnot. What is going on with my people here? Like all sorts of crazy stuff is going on with my people. But anyway, um, I'm gonna give her some relationship advice. She's single, but I don't know why we feel like we need to give her some relationship advice. But it seems like a lot of people are clearing out. It seems like uh, the party is pretty much over. I kind of want to just take her upstairs for a little bit and let us hang out for a little bit. So I'm gonna add her to the group just because. And for some reason, like Joseph is enjoying <laughs> that conversation a little too much with her. So we're going to go sit up here for a little bit and just have like a nice, um, can we sit together here? There we go. Sit together here and have like a nice little, uh, oh my goodness. Did he steal something? 
Oh, <laughs> this dude. I can't leave him alone for like a second because that's what ends up happening. Why is Eric Meyer looking at me like, oh, how did you, What? what is going on with you and this chick here? Oh my gosh. So let's get a little bit of uh, make out in and whatnot. I mean, this is like so super romantic, this place. I mean, look at it. She is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna kiss and let's give her a massage. And I think this will make him feel a lot better about everything that's going on. And you know, definitely situations with Jerrica and him wanting to just like move on. And oh goodness, Laurel, you'll get over it, darling. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> I'm not even worried about it. She's like, oh yeah. Oh, she was like, look, Laurel is a pissed. Girl, we had like a little inkling of a little situation one time, like I don't even know how long ago. If she comes over here and gives me stuff, if she comes over here and gives me something, I swear to you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now she's like, I'm going to go talk to Jed. Look at her. Look at her. Look, Jed wasn't even worried about it. And we have like a little peak level with Jed. Like what in the world? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to let them have the rest of their, oh, I'm going to have them have the rest of their evening.